Welcome to this Interform NG video. Here I'll show you how to create a variable box. When you're doing designs, you might end up with a table like this where you have a, a list of detail lines. And you might want to present these detail lines inside a box and you want this box to be fluent so it will follow the the number of lines so it would automatically uh, extend if you have multiple lines. To do this I have now already here defined this list and what I've done is that I have uh, first of all I might want to show you the uh, XML file and here it is so we have inside of this uh, document we have multiple detail lines so we want to iterate uh, over these uh, detail lines and then for each line create a, a, an extra line here down in, in the output. So in order to do that I've created inside a, yeah, first of all I created a page element and inside of that I created a flow area. So this flow area simply is, is positioned up here so it will contain the detail lines. I want to go through all of these detail lines and for that I'm using the for each line for each element and you can see it here and of course for the flow element you have it right here so here for the for each I've chosen to iterate over the detail line so I've simply clicked this one and uh, clicked select from document to retrieve the path because the for each is placed within the flow then it will automatically flow from left to right. So inside of this for each I've added my my text so the text element you have up here click the text and click the inside of my, my flow to present uh, the, the product node or the contents of that node I've clicked that node selected X path right here and said select from document and now uh, you see the result right here uh, not only that, uh, but I've also chosen to set a fixed width of this column. So it, if it wasn't a fixed width of, of this text element, then the next uh, text element would be placed directly after the preceding one. So uh, the length of the first uh, text here would be quite important because then it would uh, not be in a fixed position from the left but it would be fluent depending on how wide the first element was. So in order to get around that I've here for this text element I've set here under advanced settings I set a fixed width and remember to, to specify a number here uh, and this is measured uh, in 240 parts of an inch so this is exactly one inch wide I could uh, have chosen to, to make a uh, to calculate uh, the exact width from, from all sorts of, of information uh, in this case I've chosen the, the simple one to set a constant value of 240 I've proceeded to do the, the same uh, with the other elements here so you have each uh, node presented right here with a specific width and finally I've created an, a new line element this element to advance one line down and present the next detail line below that one now we wanted also these lines and if we want lines around the edges then it's something actually something that, that we can set up here under styles paint border and then we have actually created our flexible box so we have a box uh, with with the, the line around the edge so now we have created the box around all of the lines uh, but we can also choose to insert lines uh, vertical lines or even horizontal lines and let me just zoom in a little bit so we can actually see all of these lines so that's actually solves the main issue uh, with the box if you want to change the page breaks then we can uh, combine this with the page style to tell 
uh, interform ng when are we running out of space on the current page right now you can see we're creating one page of output but if we change the flow setting here so we have a bottom margin and this is an A4 page and I'm measuring this in centimeters so if I have for instance set a bottom margin of 22 centimeter then there's no room for all of the detail lines on one page we're creating a second page of output and if we're moving on to that you can also see that the, the box we will now create a new box on the following pages automatically so this gives you a simple and quick way to add a variable box if you want more information you can consult uh, the Interform NG manual or check out uh, our other videos on the web